Hi everyone, I've been asked to do a quick demo for one of my very own sheets. Now these sheets are only available from www.craftshoeprint.com. The sheet I've chosen to use is the Dancing Couple. I've picked the Happy Anniversary option and these are the fancy step-by-step -step decoupage sheets. Now once you've printed the sheet off onto your A4, this is how it looks. So you've got the main base image, you've got layer 1, layers 2 and 3 with the roses, layer 4 with the happy anniversary and the bow, and then the extra layers for the top, depending on how deep you want to take the decoupage. I've sized it to fit a 6 inch card, um, that's a 6 inch square card, however if you want it to fit that, when you print it you need to print to size, depending on your settings on your uh, printer and your computer because they do all vary. So what I've done is I've printed mine to fit the page and it's slightly bigger than six inches so I'm going to use a blank seven inch card to make this and I've also made a matte and layer layer for it using pink paper which you'll see as we go. So that's the sheet that I've printed off now once you've printed it off and cut it up, this is what you're going to be left with. Um, I've printed off a second sheet and I've cut out all the bits that go with it. Now I've opted not to cut out these two, but I've stuck with the main image, the big layer with the flowers on and the extra flowers and the bow. So I'll take this one away and what I've already done just to save a little bit of time is I've added tape on the back of mine. So I've got a seven inch card here and this is a blank cream card and I'm going to just start off by adding the matte and layer paper that I've got for the back of it. So we'll put that on. I'm just using normal flat tape, double sided tape for card making and scrapbooking and I'm picking the ends off with my pokey tool just to help me find the ends like so, she says. So we can put that on our paper, on our card central like so looks about right to me so we'll pop that down press it down so next I'm going to take the large image from the sheet and again I've put flat tape on that just zoom in a little bit for you to be able to see there we go I've put flat tape on the back of it already and that's going to go on my matte and layered paper. Again, I'll just pick the tape off like so. You'll have to forgive me for there's only so much you can do to prepare, so these bits are necessary for you to see, unfortunately. So there we go, that's and then. We'll pop that in the centre of the paper. Now you could use 3D foam on the back of this if you wanted to raise it up. I'd quite like this one flat, so I'll press that down. So next I've got the first raised part of it, which is the main image. I've already put my 3D foam on the back, so I'm just going to peel off the back of the foam tape like so. Now you can use silicone glue, 3D foam, glue poppets, um, glue dots, anything that you've got if you're wanting to make that 3D raised effect. Any of the glue, there's so many available now um, but I'm just using 3D foam so there we go, peel that off and now what happens is the perfect decoupage you're going to match layer to layer 
image to image like so so you place one over the other and you're going to make sure the image marries up with what you've got underneath so I'll just pop that down and I'll straighten it up like so I'm happy with that so I'll press that down next we've got the two roses for the corners so we can pop those on as well again these are on 3d foam just one layer of 3d foam on the sheet they are marked left and right so you'll be able to know which corners which when you've cut them out because I know sometimes it can be very difficult when you've cut all your bits and pieces out and you think where did that one go does it fit there does it fit here and it's like a jigsaw puzzle so that's that side again just placing it over the image below to build up that layer so you can see the layers of the 3d foam so that's that and the last piece for it is the actual bow so what I've done is I've added two layers of 3d foam there because I wanted extra height and instead of putting the bow on the design I'm just going to go slightly off the centre and I'm going to put it at the side of the card like so. So the bow is still loose over the design like that. And there we go. That's finished. To enhance it a little bit more you could add a little bit of glitter or some glossy accents or something in the middle of your bow. But I'm going to leave mine as it is. However, I do want to put an insert in. Now the thing is, the inserts that I've designed and I've printed off here are to fit the 6x6 cards. So this is a 7 inch card. So I'm going to show you a little trick and instead of cutting this out and folding it up, I'm just going to cut out this section here. So basically you can utilise your insert panel, uh, your insert folded sheets to create, instead of having to use them as a folded insert, you can use them as a panel instead for a larger card. You don't have to stick to the size that they're meant for. You can go up a little bit. And what you could do, if you're not happy with just sticking something inside the card that's smaller than it, you could actually make a mat and layer for it. You don't have to just open the card and stick this in. So there we go, that's that trimmed down. Now, I personally want just that in there like that. Because I like it, I think just finishes it off nicely it's matching and it turns in beautifully and I think the recipient will be very pleased with it so I'm just going to add a little bit of tape to the back of it to stick it in and I'm also going to make sure I've got it the right way up so I'll peel the back off there we go that's one and that's two. So make sure it's the right way around. Make sure that it's not upside down and in the centre. And just pop it in like so. Make sure it's straight and press it down. And there we go. That gives a finished look and makes a really beautiful card. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make one of my sheets and give it your own spin. Add your own embellishments, do your own thing on it and I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.